Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Now, I'm a little bit torn when it comes to this video. I don't know which route to take. There's two options. The first option would be to continue to celebrate this shift in culture and all the good news that we're getting in relation to this shift in media and social media. What's happening with Netflix, what's happening with Twitter, and now what seems to be happening with Donald Trump's new organization, potentially launching a Fox News competitor, which people are dubbing Trump TV. It's a concept we've been talking about for a very long time. So celebrate this shift in social media and media, continue to add commentary and analyze what's going on, and the second option would be turning this video into a literal job application. Because listen, if Trump TV is legitimately something that is going to start, then hey, I want to shoot my shot and I want to get a chance at this network. If the liberal hive mind was ever to go corporate and I was to ever do a face reveal, then I think the Trump TV network would probably be the most appropriate scenario. Now obviously I'm joking, not joking. We're going to talk about all kinds of stuff surrounding this whole Trump TV situation. It seems as though it's actually in the works, at least something is in the works, something in terms of media. And I'd say it is perfect timing because the last time we were having this conversation, the discussion was mostly surrounding Newsmax and OAN. And while these days both of those networks aren't exactly doing so hot, and it seems as though once again the Trump option might actually be the best option. We got some stuff to talk about, but of course before we get into any of it, please make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, share the video as much as possible, we are still shadow banned by the YouTube algorithm hidden from non-subscribed viewers. And with that out of the way, let's roll the tape. All right, folks, take a look at this headline right over here. Trump's media company hiring, quote, non-woke producers for new streaming channel. Get ready for, quote, Trump TV because it appears to be on the horizon. A report on Friday by the UK's Daily Mail notes that the Trump Media and Technology Group is currently seeking new staffers for a video streaming platform that the company will pit against current behemoths, including Netflix, Hulu, and Disney Plus. In recruitment adverts posted on Wednesday, the company announced it was seeking a content buyer and a development manager to create programming for its TMTG Plus service, the report said. The service is part of Trump's attempt to build an alternative media ecosystem after being kicked off of Facebook and YouTube in the wake of the January 6th violence last year. According to the advertisement, the streaming service plans to offer a range of programming, some of which is original and some brought in from elsewhere like existing platforms. Trump Trump Media and Technology Group streaming video on-demand service will be a big tent platform offering broad-based entertainment rooted in free speech, it says. The American public is seeking, quote, non-woke entertainment, and TMTG Plus will provide content for all to enjoy. In addition to the social media platform Truth Social, our SVOD platform, TMTG Plus, will be the home for a wide variety of non-scripted, scripted, and original content, it adds. And now, immediately, I'm getting a massive red flag, a very similar marketing red flag that we have with Truth Social. I think the name is absolutely terrible. I think Elon Musk hit the nail on the head when he called out the name for being absolutely awful sounding and provided an alternative for Truth Social, just calling it Trumpet. But we have basically the same situation here. I mean, did you guys hear how difficult it was for me every single time? TMTG plus? TMTG plus. I mean, it's just absolutely terrible. It doesn't roll off the tongue at all, and it's got to be smooth if it's going to pick up. You know, even with the network like CNN. I mean, the network is terrible, but the name is pretty good. CNN, CNN. It rolls off your tongue, it's easy to remember, and it sticks in people's brains. TMTG Plus just doesn't. And their competitors, Netflix, Hulu, and Disney Plus, are already a step ahead because of this. It's just a temporary placeholder, because a project like this is necessary. And this is what people are looking for, especially when you're talking about a streaming service. We've seen what's going on with Disney, we've seen what's happened to Netflix. Even Netflix, quote, going non-woke or anti-woke, with Elon Musk and other top figures praising Netflix for cracking down on woke employees, there is definitely a demand for non-woke content, especially when it comes to the internet and the online streaming ecosystem, that currently just does not exist. We go back to this term counterculture. In an environment where the mainstream is all doing one thing, following one path, and every single one of them are failing, doesn't it make sense to go a different path? To explore something different, something counter to mainstream, something counterculture, which ironically enough seems to be free speech these days. But going back to values of free expression, to buck the politically correct woke trend, it certainly makes sense to me. And it also seems like Donald Trump's company is in the perfect place to do something like this. 
this. They have instant name recognition, already have a strong audience, and they have the right business model. They essentially already have in place what CNN Plus never had, an actual loyal audience. And then on top of that, it seems like they have the right values, freedom of expression, and hopefully not a bunch of overly censored left-wing garbage content that focuses more on gender and race quotas than they do on actually making, again, good content. And so here's the distinction, folks, and going back to the whole cultural pendulum shift, I think there's a reason why right-wing content, or not even necessarily right-wing content, let's just call it freedom content, is objectively better than what the left has been producing. And that is the simple concept of meritocracy. The freedom side is purely meritocratic. Okay, maybe not purely, but largely. In every environment that is not left-wing, the people who tend to succeed and tend to build large followings, usually that growth, and especially the growth of audience, it's done through good content, consistency, hard work, good commentary, good sense of humor, whatever you want to call it, charisma, where on the left side, it's literally everything except for that. It's about promoting people based on immutable characteristics, based on their skin color, their gender, their sexual preference, their disabilities, whatever it is. And when you prioritize that over talent and the actual product that you're putting out in the market, well, obviously you're doomed to fail. And that's exactly why Netflix has failed. But if Trump TV does the exact opposite, essentially the exact opposite of what CNN Plus is doing, which is what I criticized them in the first place for, picking a bunch of lame stream media nobodies and picking Chris Wallace as their headline figure instead of promoting actual talent with actual fan bases online. Like I keep mentioning, regardless of whether or not I like these people, people like Destiny, Hassan, and Vosh, all of which I have no interest in watching, but you cannot deny the fact that there's a sizable market for watching those content creators and that clearly they're doing something that's working. Well, if CNN Plus had committed into the next generation of talent of leftist commentating talent, it's very hard for me to utter those words, but you guys get what I'm saying. If they had committed into the next generation and into figures that represent the actual organic online streaming world, they might have done well. But instead, they focused on a bunch of lamestream hacks and diversity hires, and the whole thing blew up in less than 30 days. Now, if Donald Trump goes this route and does what OAN and Newsmax did and picks a bunch of empty suits, a bunch of phony conservative Mitt Romney types like Greg Kelly from Newsmax and all these other dorks, well, then they're going to fall into the same trap. You know, someone that instantly comes to mind and somebody that I think Trump TV should be after 100%. If I was the CEO at Trump TV or TMTG+, Plus, please change this damn name. If I was head of recruiting at the network, I would be going after someone like Mark Dice with every single fiber in my being. Somebody who knows how to research and create content and be entertaining and make jokes, create memes and video memes. That's the kind of talent that they should be after. There's also this other guy that I know named Liberal Hivemind. I mean, he would be great with his own podcast series or possibly doing documentary work. Take a hint, Trump TV. The next generation of actual talent is on this platform. And if you say you want to be anti-woke and go the free speech route, then the last thing you should do is pick a bunch of phony conservatives with their fancy hair and suit and tie pushing boring GOP talking points one after another. Pick people with some actual talent. Pick people like Sticks Hexenhammer or Salty Cracker. Unpolished, real human beings who will give you real commentary, real charisma, and real humor because otherwise you're just doing what Fox News is doing and probably with way worse of a budget and with a fraction of the production value. I mean, just imagine the possibility. Imagine a network with primetime shows hosting Sticks Hexenhammer Hammer and Mark Dice and Salty Cracker, and I'm trying to stick to all these figures who aren't already associated with different networks like the Daily Wire and The Blaze. Imagine Red Eagle Politics leading the elections division, doing all the polling analysis and election analysis. If you're gonna get on the internet, then you gotta get with the times. There's a reason why people come to YouTube and follow independent content creators who do a better job than a whole lot of these mainstream hacks with a regular computer and a $50 microphone instead of the multi-million dollar production budgets that we're seeing from these massive networks. Take a hint, Trump TV. The last thing this world needs is another Fox News and Newsmax clone. And certainly the last thing we want to see is another failure launch like we saw with CNN+. Plus. Now this video went in a completely different direction than I was anticipating, but that's my opinion and that's how I feel about the situation. And some of it was kind of just like a media pipe dream that I have in the back of my mind, I guess kind of like a fantasy. But what I'm really curious is what you guys have to say in the comments. I mean, come on, a primetime show with Mark Dice would be absolutely stellar. There's real talent out there that's already proved, already has an audience. And that to me honestly seems the smartest path to take for Trump TV, as well as probably the least risky path. But that's the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it.
enjoyed it. I'm going to get back to work. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.